located in between India and China, aka the Kingdom of Bhutan, sometimes also referred to as the Land of the Thunder Dragon. It's a place where smiles are considered thoughtful, a helping hand which lightens people's mood up, a caring heart like fireflies that glitter you with passion. It is not only a place of happiness, but also enriched with a thriving culture and a rich environment, making the world a better place for you and me to live in. It is ruled by our beloved kings who are wise, kind, and compassionate, like stuffs written in fairy tales. Bhutanese are happy people and blessed to have such magnificent kings. Growing up in this tiny country made me realize that our um, realize that we are treated by others the way we treat them. So today, I will be presenting my thoughts on the good human values. As a young girl, my parents would always tell me to be a good human being. This concept of being a good human being has helped me appreciate the world through a brighter and a better lens. However, I have been trying to figure out what it really means to each one of us. Is it to help out the ones in need? Perhaps the feelings are enchanting, like Aladdin riding on his magic carpet through the gusty winds. Maybe a pleasant feeling which is passed to one another, or a mysterious yet a wondrous feeling which is still yet to be found. Growing up and having to face many situations on my own, I always wondered how I should behave. Before I act, I am always guided by the voice I hear from the core of my heart. That is, making the right judgments, speaking the truth, and acting with kindness. As I grow up, I must relish whatever I do, and whatever I do must be done with good intentions. In this century, everyone is trying to become rich. Being rich is a sign of being successful, and to be successful, we have to work hard. And yes, I appreciate people who work hard, but when people work so hard, they forget to see what is happening around them. Many people watch the Kardashians, also famously known for their reality series, Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Honestly, what joy do you get in seeing a bunch of people blabbering about how fancy their life is? By the way, aren't we even the ones making them live this wondrous life? I mean, every act of theirs makes you drown in frustration, leaving you nothing but a hopeless life to think about. So the next time, you should consider watching something that actually makes sense and is knowledgeable. If we forget to appreciate the real world, but spend more and more time on the virtual world like all of us young people do, then something is amiss. Facebook, the most famous social networking site, is able to connect many people online, but in reality, it isolates people. Many, many meals are eaten on the dining table with no conversation, but chatting merely online. Parents are even telling their children their food will be served via the chat. This app doesn't bring people together, but is slowly making children live in a fantasy world. We may lose the joy of seeing our natural beauty around us, and our love and care for our family may diminish. If I do not find the time to sit by the bedside of my sick mother, look into her eyes and feed her, what good is being rich? Every day, if I see the best food place on my table, but on my way to school, if I see children looking for something to eat from the trash cans, what good is being rich? Then what does being a good person even mean? I am fortunate to be studying in a school surrounded by a nice community. What I learn must be used to make good judgment. After all, the purpose of educating oneself is to become an adult who is able to choose right from the wrong and good from the bad. We all need to be in we all need to be able to play an important role in creating the right condition for a peaceful world for all of us to live in. To be able to do this, we need to approach our work time, play time, and all the other activities in a well-balanced manner. We must respect everyone we come across. This is just not an act of kindness, but a good deed. 
Whatever learned at school should be with the aim to promote peace and harmony in the world. We must be all honest, offer love to all the people around us, and make as many friends, friends as possible. These values of love, care, compassion, honesty, right action must become a part of us as we grow up. The future belongs to the youth of today. The youth of today must not only be hard workers, but workers with a passion to serve others, desire to build peace and unity while offering equal opportunities to everyone. Listen to that inner voice that says dream, but not only dream, but make your dream a reality. Everyone at TEDx makes inspiring speeches. Therefore, wouldn't it be lovely if we could all just spend some time out of our lives to maybe once open our eyes and see what is happening around us? We can't always look forward to seeing the world through a digital screen. Just one compassionate act can change a way a person lives or thinks. Just one kind act can bring happiness to a bright young soul. Just one. One tiny act a month can make a difference. Do we all agree to this? If yes, then we must dream with an open heart to help orphanages, to support people who are less fortunate. I don't mean to be dramatic, but when I grow up, I have a passion of helping children who are less fortunate than me, and I will make this dream of mine turn into a reality. So being a good human being means making little sacrifices so that others can benefit. The change must come within us. Everything starts and ends with you. So get your game together and start living a happier and a better life. I hope we will all be able to achieve the small dream. Before I leave, I must thank my parents for their bountiful love, care, and support. Thank you so much.